I'm on a tour of Essex to meet some of the amazing award winners from the Essex Activity Awards 2021. So let's go and meet them and hear some of their inspiring stories. I've travelled to the athletics track at Basildon Sporting Village, a place I remember very well. I raced here many, many times, but I'm not here to reminisce my past. I'm here to meet the winners of the Active Wellbeing Award, backside to trackside. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Andy, can you start off with you? I mean, can you explain what backside to trackside is? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a nine week programme put on by uh, us here at the Sporting Village. Uh, it's aimed at getting people active, uh, using the sort of medium of running on the track, uh, getting people fit, healthy, introducing them to different ways of exercise. And how important is it to the people of Basil and Colleen to sort of get them active? Well, particularly at this time, coming out of lockdown, um, so important for people to get out, getting active again, starting to move, meeting other people, especially with the kind of mental health impacts of lockdown and the lack of activity. It's been terrific. And Vicky, I mean, have you seen a lot of engagement from people in Basildon getting involved in this programme, this nine week programme? Yeah, it's generated a lot of interest, um, which is amazing to see, especially lots of people were very sedentary during lockdown. Um, so getting people back out, back active, and as Colleen says, the mental, mental health um, benefits to that, it's been brilliant. And lastly, Annie, what does winning this award mean to you guys? It's great to get the recognition, but I think what uh, is, is most important is the fact that hopefully this advertises this programme to lots more people and lots more people can take advantage of it in the future. And I mean, once again, congratulations on such a fantastic initiative and congratulations on the award. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Well, we've brought our young sports personality of the year for the Essex Activity Awards back to our hometown, Clacton in Essex. Ellie, congratulations, a silver medalist in, in Tokyo, and now our young sports personality of the year. I mean, what does getting recognition and award like this mean to you? I think it's really nice, especially this year, because of COVID, we didn't really get that recognition when we was over there, because there was no crowds or anything. So it's nice to come back and know people were watching. Have you had a lot of support for you since you've been back and people now, you know, your name is now cemented in history as a Paralympian and uh, hopefully a long career going forward? Yeah, I've had a bit and it's been really nice and it was just nice to get back and see my family. And um, what's next? I mean, you know, silver medalist in Tokyo, less than three years to Paris. I think we've got Worlds next year, Portugal, then Worlds 2023, Manchester, and then Paris 2024. So hopefully my family can be there at Paris. So a nice busy schedule for you leading up to Paris and beyond. I don't want to keep you any longer. The sea is awaiting. You've got a session to do, right? <laughs> no, never. Well, congratulations and congratulations on your award. Congratulations on your medal in Tokyo. And we really look forward to watching the rest of your career and supporting our fellow Essex athlete. Thank you. So we've come to Mersey to meet the worthy winners of our Active Club of the Year, East of England Paddle Sports. Ollie, Andy, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's quite a good achievement. Thanks, yeah, really proud of it, yeah. When we, firstly, when we stand here on a day like today, I mean, I, I love the water, I love the outdoors, but we stand on a day like today. This is where you, this is where you paddle, right? Is it enticing today? <laughs> I still think the draw is there. Uh, it might not look much, but once you're out there floating and you know, you're at, at one with the water. I think it's, it's still quite nice. Today's a bit windy, probably wouldn't suggest going out today, um, but when the wind drops, definitely, yeah. But of course, we've seen a massive, massive rise in paddle sports, and especially with paddle boarding. I mean, how have you found it? Yeah, I mean, when we started the group a few years ago, I joined the group when we had 500 members. The last two years, we've probably trebled in size. So it's been, it's been a massive growth. And, what we've tried to do is make sure people are doing it safely and responsibly. And um, I mean, what does this award mean to you going forward? I think for me, this sort of gives me a little kick and shows that something I started four years ago almost is still benefiting people today. Seeing the groups of people that are formed and the friendship groups that have formed is kind of what keeps me going. And you started with 500, you say, I mean, what are you up to now? Yeah, we, uh, when I joined a few years ago, we were just up to about 500. We're now almost at 10,000, which is absolutely incredible. Well, I mean, that's, that's a fantastic achievement in itself and, and just shows why you've won this award. So once again, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much. 
Well, I'm here with the Find Your Active Ambassador Award from the Essex Activity Awards. Kat Gordon, congratulations on the award. Thank you very much. I mean, your, your 5K my way, I went, you're, you're, this is what you've, one of the parts you've won the award for. Where does that come from and how did you get involved? Um, so it's actually an initiative by Move Against Cancer Charity that was set up by Gemma Hillier Moses. Um, and it's basically to get people involved in getting outside and getting active again after a cancer diagnosis and really highlighting the importance of activity um, after, after illness to rebuild again. And when we talk about activity, um, I spoke to you on the night of the awards. Yeah. You've set yourself a challenge to try different activities. Yes. I mean, what's, what's <laughs> next on the agenda? Oh, I've got pole fitness next week. We've got some rugby going on, which I'm a little bit, I might say, for the slightly nicer weather, some rowing. I'd like to get in touch with the other guys um, that won some of the awards, like backside to trackside. That looks great. Um, yeah, so lots of things well outside my comfort zone, but yeah, we'll give it a try. <laughs> and if, what's, the, what's the most enjoyable you've done so far of all the activities? Ooh. Well, I'm carrying on with the kickboxing, so I really enjoyed the Thai boxing. I've done a little bit of kickboxing before, but never the Thai side of things. So that was great. Um, surprisingly, I actually enjoyed the aerial acrobatics. I've got a slight fear of going upside down down but um, <laughs> as we all do we're not yeah. supposed to be upside down it's, no not very natural but that was a lot of fun and um yeah i might do that again in january for the beginners course so um, i'm gonna have to be so busy i think yeah, at the end of this i think you are you already was busy yeah. and then so what does winning this award mean to you um oh it's i mean it's it's a bit crazy um it, it's really lovely to be recognized for the work i'm doing i think the um the campaign really just resonated with me because i'd, I'd had a period of illness um and I'd never been particularly active myself until my 30s. So I think, you know, it's all about finding what's good for you, really. And there's something out there for everyone, even if you don't consider yourself to be sporty or athletic. Um, so I think it's a really good message to, to be getting out there to people. Well, and that's what it's about, recognising people that do amazing things, and you truly have. So once again, so congratulations, much. Kat. Thank you. So the next stop on our tour of the Active Essex Award winners was Friars Grove Primary School, winners of the Active Education Award. And I'm joined by Matt Johnston. I mean, Matt, congratulations on the award. Thank you ever so much. I mean, I mean the, what, the work you've done in trying to get not only your students active, but also their parents as well is, is phenomenal. How important is that to you to just keep people active and moving? Well, the profile up in sport at our school has always been very big. And we really wanted to, you know, throughout the pandemic, make sure that it wasn't just the children taking part in physical activity, but their whole family. And that really then benefits the children in the long run, getting, you know, really good habits for the future. Um, so we've taken part in lots of different initiatives, some within school and some outside. And we actually started during the Easter holidays, pushing initiative Street Tag to get all our families involved. And one of your um, drives as well was to try and get 100% of key stage two children doing activity outside school as well as in school. Because in school it's easy, outside school it's, you know, some children it's harder to keep them, at, keep them active. Um, have you managed that target? Well, just before the pandemic came, we got up to about 80% of children, which was fantastic. And something we'd never done before. This year we want to try and get up to 100% of key stage two children. We've got fantastic partnerships with, um, with organisations locally who do lots of events in the local area. Um, and, and all sorts of different things. Football, basketballs, SEN events as well. We want to try and get every single child to represent the school in something. And again, that gives them memories for the future, but also those important habits in physical education and physical activity. And, and lastly, I mean, what does this award mean to you going forward? Well, it's a fantastic recognition for everything the children have done, everything for our community, but also the staff as well who work ever so hard to put everything on around our school. Tomorrow we're taking part in Santa Dash as well, so that's our next physical activity um, initiative to get, get taken part in. Well, I mean, and this is recognition of the, the hard work and the dedication you have, not only to your students, but also to their families as well. So once again, congratulations. Thank you ever so much. So I'm here with the Essex Activity Award Strengthening Community Award winners. Uh, congratulations, ATF. Thank you. Um, so Stuart, tell me a little bit about ATF and like, how much it's grown since its inception in 2012. Okay, so we're a, a charity that supports young people and their families to build confidence and uh, resilience, um, provide volunteering opportunities, break down the barriers of participation and get people into meaningful activities. And we started off from humble beginnings as a, a community um, community group in South End, and we've, we've grown and spread across South Essex. 
And Angel, you've been heavily involved in the last year, 18 months. I mean, how important has ATF been in people's lives, helping them get through this current situation? So for me personally, um, basically, ATF kind of saved me and my family during the COVID kind of lockdown. And they really helped with food parcels and providing sports and getting the kids out. But I can say for other families, they've done it for them too. And we're absolutely thrilled to have ATF in our community. And how many people do you help on a weekly basis, monthly? I think it's around 400 people uh, on a week, weekly basis across South Essex. So, you know, in, in one form of activity or another. I mean, and that is absolutely fantastic and, and a well-deserved recognition. And, and what does this award mean to you and, and for now and then going forward with ATF? I think it's a real validation uh, for people like Angel that have been with us and supported us and it's that's the best part of, of uh, my role as CEO is to see community members becoming part of the ATF family and I think it for us in terms of what it means going forward it just gives us real enthusiasm to to take a moment go again because there's lots more we know we can do and you know we've been working in particular areas but we're looking forward to kind of expanding out and giving opportunities to other families and young people. Well, you're doing some absolutely fantastic work and I'm sure you're going to touch so many other people's lives, so congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you. Many employers see the importance of employee wellbeing, but our recipients of the Active Workplace Award, Baker Labels, go to a whole new level. Steve, I mean, we're in one of your initiatives, the gym. I mean, what a fantastic concept to get people active in the workplace. Yeah, it was, it, this was a great idea. This was my, my son's idea to, to actually push it and to, to get us an actual gym. Um, we do a lot of things you know, for our employees, uh, mainly around the, the sort of the health and the well-being being side of things. Um, and we, we thought, well, the gym is like the culmination of it. You know, it's mainly, it's, it's all down to, you know, we have counsellors come in if people have any sort of problems or issues, but we see the, the employment as a, as, a, as a real holistic side of things. You know, we have, um, we have, luckily enough, we have a very successful business. We invest an awful lot of money in the, the machinery and the equipment. And we think equally the you know, the staff are as important, if not more important than the equipment that we have. So ensuring that they're mentally sharp, physically fit, is, is, a, is a great thing for business. Well, it, and, it, and it's great to see that you see that because without them, there is no business. And Andy, you're one of the employees. What made you, what made you nominate your employer for Active Workplace? When I saw it like, online, there's no question I could not nominate them because I, when I started about two and a half years ago, um, it was basically a walking club. It started off every Thursday, a walking club. And then it's just grown from that to basically competitions and, and fun runs and obviously now the gym. Yeah, it's uh, brightened our day up. So, I mean, what does winning this award mean, Steve? I mean, you know, this recognition for, for the, the what you put into your employees here. Oh, it's, it's, it's just great. You know, winning any award is, 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 is very special. But, you know, getting one to actually recognise the fact that we're we are trying to do things for the staff. Um, it, it's just superb, you know, it, it, it means a lot. It means a lot to the guys, you know. I mean, I was over, over the moon being nominated for this one because it wasn't one that we, we'd actually done, you know. Have, having Andy doing it, we didn't even know that he'd done it. He, he sort of nominated us on the quiet and it, it wasn't until we got contacted to, to say that, you know, we, we've actually in the running for the award. So. That, that, that's, that's just brilliant. You know, we love winning awards. It's, it's great to, you know, for everyone in, in, the, in the whole business, you know, because they see it as a recognition of, what, you know, the company and it's all, it's all part of it. You know, there's no one single major thing that makes a difference in this place. It's a culmination of lots of little things, doing the right thing every day and worrying about people, worrying about our customers, you know, worrying about everything. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it means a lot. It means a lot to be recognised. Well, as a business, you, we can certainly see that you go over and above for your staff. So, and that's why you are the winners of the Active Workplace Year. So once again, congratulations. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. I'm here with Phil Carpenter, at Essex Activity Award winner for the Activity Hero category. And when we talk about hero, I mean, I think what you did during the lockdown period was legendary. 800 workouts in 600 days. I mean, when you started on that journey, did you ever imagine it would grow to what it did? Oh, absolutely not. No, I never in my wildest dreams thought I would have done 800 workouts in 600 days. I mean, that's absolutely mental. 
I started off just wanting to create something that could keep people going through the first lockdown. And it was the only thing I could do was to stream free workouts because we weren't allowed to be in contact with each other. But since then, it's just carried on and on and on to the point where now here I am, 800 workouts in 600 days. It's been quite an adventure, an absolutely exhausting process, but I am so proud of the content I've been able to load for everyone. I've been so pleased to be able to keep people going through what has been a really difficult time. And yeah, to be nominated and to even win an award like this means so much to me. So thank you so much to everyone that nominated me and thank you for choosing me as your winner. And you started out doing the, the free workouts. It's now, it's now more of a business model and you're going back to where the PT comes from, which is it's your personal business. I mean, what, is, what does the future hold for you now? What's, what's your goals, apart from a little rest over yeah. Christmas? After, yeah, I need a little break, but after that, I obviously can, I inspire to keep trying to motivate the people that are in my group. And for anyone who wants to join my group, I want to help them with their fitness as well. So please look me up. I'm very keen to help anyone who is looking for a bit of help when it comes to their health and fitness. Um, and yeah, this is my long-term plan now, is to try and help people throughout my whole career. Well, that is why you are our activity hero. So Phil, congratulations on a very, very worthy award. Thank you so much to everyone. Really means so much to me. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed meeting some of the amazing winners of this year's Essex Activity Awards 2021 and hearing how they're inspiring the people of Essex to be healthy and active. So once again, a huge congratulations to all the winners. And we hope these awards have inspired you to find your active.